So as per valency, what I'm saying that that atom want to get the stability. If it is unstable, it want to go to stable state. It want it want to go to stable state. It want to fill the orbit with number of electrons specified. And the number of electrons it want, always want to take as eight. If you see some more atoms like helium, neon, argon, all these are in gaseous state, and they have eight electrons stability. Stability in valency orbits. Valency orbits are nothing but outermost orbits, and these are called inert gases. So inert gases means the gases which are having stability, which are having eight electron stability in the outermost orbit, and when they are stable, they are stable. When they are stable, they don't want to mix with another gases. They don't show the favorism to mix with another. They want to be stable like this only. So all other atoms in the periodic table wants to get that stability when they are in the unstable state. So always all the atoms trying to get this stability to get the in inert gas state and how they are mixing with another atoms. Okay, so we understand about valency and inert gases. Now see this thing: atomic number, and mass number. Already I have used this concepts you know, when, while, while I am explaining about electronic configuration. Let me explain more about atomic number and mass number. Atomic number is represented by the symbol Z, and atomic number is number of electrons, or it is number of protons. Number of electrons and number of protons. For example, take C six twelve. And this is Z. So in carbon, you have six electrons, or you have six protons. See N seven fourteen. What is atomic number? Seven. That means it has six. That means it is having seven electrons and seven protons. That's why I told you, bodies, atoms, always neutral. Carbon is neutral because six negative charges, six positive charges. If you combine them, zero charge. Nitrogen, seven negative charges, seven positive charges. Combine them, neutral. Always they are neutral. When they are getting into reaction, then they will get either negative charge or positive charge externally. If not, always they are in neutral state. Okay. Now what is mass number? Mass number equals to number of protons plus. Number of neutrons, small n means neutrons. That is mass number. So in this C six twelve, this is mass number, and mass number represented by the symbol capital Y. Now see here, number of protons six you have, number of neutrons also six. So if you add them, you get twelve. You this mass number you want is that you can find neutron number. Neutron number. Neutron number formula is A minus Z. Yes. See the A is twelve. Z is six. Twelve minus six. Six is the neutron number. If I take example of N seven fourteen, what is neutron number? Fourteen minus seven. Seven is the neutron number. Like that, using this formula, you can find a neutron's number. Okay, we understand about mass number, atomic number, and how to find neutron number. Now, the next topic. Isotopes. Iso means same. Isotope defined as atoms having same atomic number but different mass number. Those are called isotopes. You have isotopes for hydrogen. The hydrogen isotopes are see carefully H11, H12, H13. 
See, one, 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 all these they are atomic numbers. The top are mass numbers. I told same atomic number. See, you have same atomic number, but mass numbers are different. This is called proton. This is called deuterium. Deuterium. This is called tritium. Why it is called tritium? Tri means three. Three. Deu means two. That's a deuterium. So this deuterium is heavier hydrogen than this. Tritium is more heavier than deuterium because mass numbers are increasing. When mass numbers are increasing, the mass of the atom also increases. But they have same atomic number. So these are the isotopes of hydrogen. Now take the example of carbon. Carbon is also having two isotopes. One is C612 and then C613. Same atomic numbers, 6, 6, but mass number is 12, 13. If you see the number of neutrons here, so why the mass number changes here? Can you guess? Yes, it's only because of change in neutron number. 12 minus 6, here the number of neutrons are 6. 13 minus 6, number of neutrons are 7. That means in isotopes, number of neutrons changes. Here number of neutrons, 0. Here number of neutrons, 2 minus 1, 1. Here number of neutrons, 3 minus 1, 2. So number of neutron size changes. That is called isotope. And you have many advantages of using isotopes. Isotopes tells you the, the different steps involved in chemical reactions. For example, you see the uranium isotope. We are using uranium isotopes in nuclear reactors to producing nuclear energy. We are using cobalt isotopes in radiation therapy to, for the treatment of cancers. So like that, isotopes are very famous in chemical and physical reactions.